Leader of the Official Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My friend Mike McDonald posted these words recently. With dignity and courage, my beloved big sister Sarah left us on Tuesday, choosing her own time and place rather than letting ALS choose it for her. He goes on to describe Sarah as an incredible person, a devoted mother of four, grandmother of three, a cherished daughter, sister, and sister-in-law. She was resourceful and a brilliant artist, returning to university after having four children to pursue her career as an artist. When Sarah was diagnosed with ALS uh, two years ago, she researched and reached out and found a community of patient advocates who had formed ALS Action Canada. And what a community of advocates it is. ALS is a devastating disease. Today, there is no hope of recovery, and a diagnosis means that you will eventually lose the ability to talk, walk, eat, and ultimately breathe. ALS is currently a terminal diagnosis with no treatment or cure. I am moved and inspired by Sarah's efforts as well as fierce advocates like Greg Gao. Since being diagnosed with ALS in 2019, Greg has worked tirelessly to ensure that clinical trials take place in BC. Establishing clinical trials here would give hope for those who live with ALS and their families. For many living with ALS, clinical trial, trials offer the best source of hope, though they are offered in a select few provinces, not including BC. While ALS has impacted Greg's ability to speak, both he and Sarah have been loud and clear about the responsibility we have in this legislature and this province to make BC a leader in the efforts to end ALS. Thank you, Sarah and Greg, and so many others for having the courage to share your stories. It's time for us to act, to listen. Time is of the essence.